Hi friends! At first I thought it would just be fun to share a watercolor project that I made near the end of last year that has helped me get clarity on what matters most, but then I realized it is not only fun, but feels essential to share right now. No matter where you are in the world watching this YouTube video, I hope you, your family, and loved ones are safe and well. Although I could have re-recorded just the intro of this video, I decided to do the whole voiceover on today, Tuesday, March 17th, 2020, to share with you some feelings I have been having during this time of great unrest, unease, and uncertainty. With the developments of the world weighing heavy on our shoulders, many of us are feeling anxious, myself included. The news is very scary. I have faith and trust and believe that there is somewhat of a mass awakening happening in the world right now. The majority of us lead very busy lives, and at this time, we are actually being asked to pause and slow down. Wherever you are in the world, chances are that in some way, the news of the rapid spread of coronavirus, COVID-19, is affecting you and all of us in one way or another. The entire country of Italy is on lockdown, and I think that there are several others too. Schools are closed in major areas of the United States. In Los Angeles, people over the age of 65 are urged to isolate. We are faced with the facts of an unprecedented event that nobody has seen before, and we are in a national state of emergency. News over the pandemic is overwhelming and can feel chaotic. My initial reaction through a lot of deep diving and a great sense of gratitude that I have cultivated is to try and encourage the spread of love and kindness and calm instead of fear. Not saying that we shouldn't feel the fear, we should feel our feelings through, but also bring to light that we do have a choice in how we respond to these emotions. And I think it's just a really good time to give yourself grace, give those around you grace. During times of uncertainty, I think we're being called to all use a bit more compassion and kindness to others and to ourselves, which in turn is for the greater good. As we practice social distancing, we can still be kind humans. Whether we want to believe this or not, we are really in this together. In times like this, I'm reminded that I cannot succumb to the darkness. I've had a few negative moments that have happened recently. If you follow me on Instagram, then maybe you caught the little run-in at Costco that I experienced last week. And I really want to focus on the light. And I think that we have to really behold this light and try to do what is right. I think that now more than ever, we need to do what is right. As events get canceled, schools close, and we effort to flatten the curve, I believe this is an opportunity for us as individuals to enjoy the slowness and get clarity around what truly matters so that the community at large is uh, benefiting and really staying safe and well. Spend quality time at home with loved ones. Get out your art supplies that you've been wanting to use. I know that I have so many that I have been trying to figure out when I have time to record a video for you guys. And I want to do a watercolor video where I show you all the different types of watercolors and different price points that I have. I've got some markers that I love, but you know, all that aside, I really think it's an opportunity for us to go inward and reflect. In difficult times, the best thing you can do is shine your inner light. I am grateful that some of you have been watching my videos for years and that you feel uplifted inspired, energized when you come to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. What started as just a desire to share what I'm making, doing, working on in my small creative business, this has really become a passion project that has grown and I've put a lot of time, resources, energy, and investment into, but I really want to be able to show up for you and you guys are the subscribers watching, liking these videos, commenting. I appreciate it so much. And I want to continue to be able to show up 
and step up now more than ever and encourage you to show up and step up and speak up in your own lives. Take this time to focus on centering yourself and try not to overwhelm yourself. My hope is that in sharing how this page came together is that it will help you get to the heart of your deepest desires and vision for this year. Though we are already several months into 2020, I think this can be done at any time and might even be the reason that my mindset is at a pretty healthy place right now because of all the deep diving within myself that I have done throughout the years. Since I'm personally driven by heart-led actions, I think the idea of fresh starts and more alignment with what you want from this one precious life can come at any time. It doesn't mean you have to wait until your next birthday or the beginning of any month or any year to infuse more happiness, joy, creativity, or whatever it is you seek more of in your life. We have the ability to create and design our lives at any time. I used to put off the process of thinking big and asking myself what I really wanted and instead would put into practice small ways of tapping into the present moment, like journaling, writing in my planner, paper piecing, collaging, making a vision board, etc. Sometimes those felt too daunting and other times it didn't feel like I was able to carve out the time I needed to assess things. Well, guess what? Right now, we have time. We're being called to take the time. Last year, I did a lot of pausing and deep diving. By nature, I think I'm a pretty introspective person while also being able to go out there and get a lot of things done. Sometimes I think it's to a fault actually, and in any case, my priorities have a chance to come into focus more clearly when I'm not overwhelmed and I have clarity on what I want to invite more of into my life. And I believe this is probably the same for you. Perhaps you are not at a major crossroads at the moment and things are pretty smooth sailing for you. That's wonderful. For me, I find that everything ebbs and flows and I am more in a position to flow in a positive direction when I am myself in a positive and clear mindset, when my head is not full of incessant worry or self-defeating thoughts, it also helps to write things down on a list and do a brain dump and get everything out and to make it look pretty. Originally, the idea of this was to create an illustrative list using four major categories, the things that I really want to focus on this year. Once it was all dry, I took this Uli calligraphy duo in black and wanted to write the words on the watercolor splotches. And you can do this in any form that resonates with you. It's not something that you have to follow this exactly or anything. I just encourage you to do something that makes you feel good right now. I think we could all use that uplifting and inspiring experience and help spread good throughout the world. And if we're just spreading it to the people we have in our house, that's fine too. And connect with people on social media. I think that our community is so inviting and so wonderful. Let's really look at ways that we can support one another during this new normal or whatever we're experiencing. The reason I'm going over that end, I don't know if you saw it, but I was about to write contribution contribution (laughs) instead of contributing. So I needed to correct that. So here are my four C's. Connecting, creating, contributing, and celebrating. You've already seen that I began painting the heart using some of my favorite watercolors. This set is by Altenew, which is linked below. You can use any symbol or shape to represent what you feel is at your core. I think a heart is perfect because it speaks to the love we feel and the passion we all have to move toward. Think about the categories you want to write down that embodies what matters most to you at the moment. These four C's really represent what my focus for this year entails. Here are some things to keep in mind as you find what matters most to you. Number one, reflect. Spend some time considering what your main values truly are. Are there areas that you want to focus on? I think it's wonderful to say that friends and family mean the most to you, but really identify the ways that you can truly connect and show up in the world for the people you love and who love you. 
What did you learn from this last year, last month, last week? Are there things you did so well you surprised yourself? You can also look through past journal entries, traveler's notebooks, or just take a moment to look at what has brought you the most joy recently. Number two, make changes. Think about how you would like things to go differently in the coming months. Maybe you want to cook instead of doing takeout. During this time, we can't even go to restaurants unless we are doing takeout. If you have the means and resources to help locally and support your local small businesses, please do. Or maybe it's your health you want to focus on. Maybe you want to go on a hike every third Saturday or take 10 minutes out of each day to do something creative just for you. Or maybe it's a specific attitude that you may want to foster affirming yourself in the morning to reduce negative self-talk, or by expressing gratitude regularly to friends and family. What would you like to create? It could be even something that you want to let go of. I have been working diligently for the last decade to try to let go of my incessant worrying tendencies by understanding that I'm able to choose my thoughts and energy that I want to bring about It's a practice that I have to cultivate daily, but awareness is the key and it helps to write these things down to bring more into focus so that you can start making the changes for the greater good. Number three, set intentions. Focus in on a word or phrase to carry you through the good times and the bad. What words stand out in your mind as common themes or values you hope to really highlight this moment, this month, 